So about 8.40 p.m. And we'll just go outside for a second. Just fiddling with the uh, stereo stuff, the internet and everything, just there's lots of cables and uh, tweak it for a second, but had to get water, did that late, ran and got some supper, did that late. So I uh, did a whole bunch of things late today instead of getting right on top of it, but we forgot. We, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot to get water like twice. It's like, hurry up and get it. But uh, the wind has been coming from the left side and or east and it's blowing towards the west which is normally coming from the west and I can see on the water you probably can't see it the way I can see it but it's still blowing but uh, it's kind of the wind is starting to turn direction but the warm air is getting sucked in from the east to the west and then that westerly uh, rain is coming in and rising up and you, it's collecting more and more warm air as it rises up and up and up and up and then it'll roll in forward on top of us and get soaking wet so we'll have two days of really rainy staying indoors just rather not go anywhere so did as much as stuff is necessary to just get things outside provide room inside get the water and uh, I got a table that I have to set up. So I did all that shopping business and just got it all in the house, cottage. And, uh, but dad's poor table, oh my gosh, it's been outside for a couple of years. And um, like I was showing earlier, the tarp came off. But this beautiful table, I mean, uh, let me get a better angle at it. You know, it's all split, and the finish is just shredded on it. It just destroyed. So that's going to take... Like, you know, that's... Let's pull the boards all apart, sand them all down, clamp, glue and clamp them all together again. Plane the whole thing. Varnish it again and again. But, you know what, like, something like that... It's a lesson that says, okay, make the tabletop easy to come off, but make it rigid. Make some kind of structure that's very rigid, but wing nuts on and off with lock washers. Put it in the cottage so that it can't get destroyed in case tarps get, you know, torn and pulled and everything. And then you don't have that kind of problem ever again. So it's one of those lessons. But uh, one thing I noticed is the... Uh, where you go to the pump house, it uh, does have some stairs here, and I thought for the longest time nobody, these didn't exist, like, and somebody built them. I'm like, what? Because I was thinking, we've got to build something, you can't get down here with some kind of rugged, r rickety thing. And uh, it's got a really nice railing, some solid steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten steps. And all we got to do is just make a walkway that goes over top of the rocks, which is like a decking thing that bolts into the rocks. And then mom would never slip, because like, if the rocks are wet with moss on them, you slip and you fall and you go in the drink. And it's just like... You know, you could whack your head, go unconscious, and drown like frick. So, you know, you gotta have a nice, clear, simple path. Up there it looks kind of flat, but it's for an older person, there's no way to navigate that. So, that's a very important thing to build out of all the things for safety around here. That's one. <clears throat> but, Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the sentiment. I'm absolutely thrilled to be here. I mean, I thought it'd be kind of nice and I'll be working most of the time. And You know, it's the cottage, there's too much to do in the springtime, getting everything ready. But just having the breeze and the lake and like the sound of the wind blowing through those long pine needles, 
I've absolutely loved it in my entire life. Like, that's one of the best sounds ever. Like, in the mountains, you get that if you're lucky. And it's like this very special, it's not white noise, it's like, it's a low frequency kind of steady wind. But of course it goes gently up and gently down in terms of its volume. And you can hear it across the lake, the sound, the same sound, and then the sound starts to come on this side of the lake. And it's just the way the wind shifts around. But um, yeah, I can see why dad wanted to just sit there in the chairs and look out. I mean, I actually feel compelled to just sit there and look out and listen and enjoy the breeze and just go, wow, this is great. And so I've never understood him sitting there just doing nothing, just looking. Because, like, you know, some people will just read. But um, my dad was always like, we got to do stuff. We got to do stuff. We got to build a boat. We got we to gotta go into town. Let's go for a water ski. We got to fix the stairs. We got to paint the cottage. We got we to gotta build stuff. We got to fix stuff. We got to do stuff. And I'm compelled to do that as well. But every so often as I get older now, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I've been going and going. I just want to enjoy. I want to relax. I want to go, oh, this is nice. So I'm starting to understand. The guy in the chair.